I have no idea why I'm making this video, but here we are. Black Desert is hemorrhaging players and uh, is actually uh, physically dying at this point. And of all the people who usually would be happy about something like this, I actually am not happy about it. Now, why is that? Well, I have played Black Desert on and off ever since the day it released. Um, even in the Korean version, I played it. I've, I have to admit that unfortunately, Black Desert is just a game that I cannot fucking stay away from. There's something about this game that scratches an itch that no other game can scratch for me. And I always come back to it. I always come try it. I always come play it. And then, you know, quit, come back, quit, come back. It's just an unhealthy, toxic relationship I have with this game. And I have to come to terms with the fact that if I keep coming back to a game like this after this many years, there must be a reason for it. So I guess I just, I guess I just love the fucking game. Okay, what can I say? I highly doubt that this video is going to help or change anything, but I just want to put my opinion and my perspective out as someone who has silently from the background watched this game implode on itself throughout the years. Um, so these are my opinions as to why Black Desert is in the state it is in now and how potentially it could return to a more healthy and maybe even better state than it ever has been before. I know that no one is probably going to listen to this, especially not the developers, and I know that none of these ideas are probably ever going to be implemented, but I'm still making the video because I guess I just feel like I should, even though I know nothing is going to come of it. <laughs> Really quick backstory about myself. For those of you who don't know me, you can just check my channel. Uh, I played Black Desert literally in the Korean version. I was there from day one um, and I played the hell out of it a lot uh, when it first came out in NA. I was one of the, I was in one of the top guilds, one of the top players at the time uh, before the game got super pay to win, in which I you know took a back seat because I didn't want to uh, take a game like that seriously but i still played it a lot because i love the game as i said earlier especially back then i oh god i played like 16 hours a day i was out of my mind i don't know how i did it <laughs> but uh so uh yeah so you can just check check my uh credentials on that and this is straight up coming from the perspective of a pvp player i've never been a pve -er, although i have thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of hours in in pve just like any other pvp -er does because unfortunately you have to pve in order to pvp in this fucking game so um yeah we had no choice but so that's what it is so what is the core problem with black desert right now the core problem is that Black Desert has always been a long-term progression based game. Even when it first came out, uh, you could argue it was a long-term progression based game. Uh, it was a lot easier back then to get to the end, game, end goal of progression, but e even such a thing as pin, pin accessories back then was just unheard of. Someone having a try accessory was, it was godly. Um, but either way, it's always been a progression based game. So the, 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 the reason why it was a progression based game is because people wanted to progress so that they can become a strong player. They could become an individually powerful player so that they could then enter a guild of also individually powerful players and then they will be able to work together in order to pvp and get a lot of rewards from pvp and also which will also exponentially increase their growth and progression and also they can win in pvp okay so that those are the reasons why people grind it people grind it so they could be strong in note wars people grinding so they could be strong in sieges people grinding so they could be strong in open world pvp those are the three reasons why pvp players grind it not pve players again if you're a pve player i'm not talking about you i can't understand the way you think you grind to make the mobs 
feel more pain. I don't understand. This video is not for you. This is for PvP players. If the PvP community leaves the game, the game dies. It's as simple as that. And they've left. So now how can you entice PvP players to want to come back? You have to give them a reason to want to progress. You have to give them a reason to want to grind. And that reason is gone. There, there is all the major forms of pvp are equalized or capped as black desert likes to call it which causes people to not want to engage in progressing their characters now capped content at at the time it was released was something that the community actually asked for but the thing about it is the community doesn't understand or not all of it but a good amount of the community doesn't understand the complexities of what they ask for which is why we are where we are today this is why i say that black does uh, uh, hypothetically uh, hypocritically i say that black desert developers shouldn't really listen to the community they shouldn't have listened to the community as much as they did because that's why we're in the predicament that they, we're in now people are are very fickle they say how they feel in the moment without thinking about what the way they feel can change how the way they feel can change a game and how the way they feel can lead to further implications later on which is equalized no wars is a perfect example of that equalized no wars and equalized sieges had a terrible effect on the game which it, it gave so many people uh incentive to not grind and not progress now not grinding is something that's great because grinding is mundane boring and annoying to a lot of people so i can understand why people don't want to do that but you have to want to progress in black desert because if you don't want to progress in black desert then all you're doing is just waiting for the next cap content queue to start which is why people wanted arena of solaire arena of solaire people want to just pvp uh capped with equalized skill based in the fuck in black desert which is a joke but skill based combat and it and and have skill based quote unquote a balanced pvp which would never happen because black desert in its core is an unbalanced game it is unbalanced mechanics unbalanced between the classes the only way you can have a balanced pvp in black desert is if you have one class that is the same exact class versus the other and even then it would be unbalanced because of ping so that so there's no point in even mentioning balance in this game i don't even know why people think that way i never understood it that even way back then people were talking about balance it's never been a balanced game it never will be a balanced game it's time to accept that so what can black desert do to remedy these situations and make the player base or at least the pvp player base more engaged in the game well the first thing they have to do is they have to remove capped content entirely and i mean entirely no t1 no t2 all uncapped sieges and nodes and then have and then have nodes that give more money and more nodes that give less money and the community will themselves decide which ones they want to go for and which ones they want to they want to challenge and of course you're going to have pub stomps of course you're going to have the stronger players going to lower cap nodes for whatever reason just because they don't care about the rewards but if you make the rewards enticing enough and the higher cap nodes the lower guilds will not go to them and the higher guilds will and that's what was happening before that was what was happening back when i played they made higher nodes give more money and lower nodes give less money high people people went to the higher nodes but it wasn't enough of a disparity there has to be a huge disparity there has to be pretty much no point of going to the lower level nodes that's when you get people wanting to go to the big ones so that's one way to give people an incentive to want to progress because once people have that incentive to say hey my gear is going to make my guild stronger which will make my chances of getting killed stronger which will make my own engagement in the game my own enjoyment in the game stronger but and i will have a better time if i get better gear that's the way you have to have people thinking in black desert if they think that i'm only getting better gear so i could hit the mobs harder they're not going to want to get better gear that's just the way it is they might they might still do it but deep down in their soul they're not their 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 itch their want their their interest is not there they're doing it out of out of 
basically not having anything else to do, which is not the same level of um, interest, not the same level of want. And, you know, it's, it's pretty obvious. Like, I, I, I don't know if I can explain it any better than that. So another thing that that's how you fix no wars. That's how you fix sieges. That's how you give people interest in the game. But there's still another missing component, which a lot of people are are which was the best thing about black desert a lot of people are starting to miss it now it's open world pvp now here's the thing i have a i might you might not you might be surprised by my opinion on this based on what i've said now i think that the removal of guild decks was a good thing now hear me out i used to guild deck everyone i guild decked more than anyone you probably know i was the mo i used to cause guild decks i used to get my guild deck all i did was guild deck but the reason why i guild decked wasn't because of what people are saying the reason why we guild decked was to circumvent the horrible karma system because we wanted to pvp without penalty and that's why we guild deck this was before arsha service existed once arsha existed the need for guild decks was gone because we have a way to circumvent the karma penalty once the caramel penalty can be circumvented we have no issues that's how it's that's how it was for uh for ever since arsha i stopped complaining because i've i just go on arsha i can pvp to my heart's content i can grind i don't have to worry about anyone karma bombing me i don't have to worry about karma loss i don't have to worry about losing crystals anything i can pvp to my heart's content so that's the way that black desert should have gone instead of people focusing on guild drama and guild decks we have to go back to the way it was back in the day back in the day there were only seven servers seven servers and only a few grind spots that were viable maybe like three or four at a time so if there's only three or four grind spots seven servers and way more players back then than there are now that led to a lot more organic pvp because hey if if i don't want to wait for you to leave i want to grind now you want to grind now so we're going to fight that's that's how it is so if you want to get that feeling back we have to have scarcity scarcity has to be a part of the game now how can we get scarcity back in the game without uh stepping on the toes of the pve players who don't want any type of conflict ever and just want to kill the mobs for a thousand million hours here's what you do give make more areas like Dekia Crescent. Dekia Crescent is a great grind spot, and I'll explain why. It has three spots only per channel. That's scarcity. That's amazing. That's why there's a lot of people trying to find spots, even on all these goddamn servers. Step two, lower the number of servers. We don't need a hundred million servers anymore. It doesn't, we don't need it. We have so many grind spots, so many people are spread out across the map there's no need to have this many goddamn servers step three add more arsha servers now hear me out okay if they remove the number of servers and they add more arsha servers that is going to in entice more people to go on arsha servers to grind to avoid the karma loss because if they go on one arsha server and they get rick rolled by some super strong ass motherfucker they don't have to go all the way back to the original servers they can go to a different arsha server and and hopefully the next person that they run into is someone who is of their gear level we don't need a million Arsha servers. The two we have now, honestly, is fine, but three, four, any number of them will be fine because then you can have the organic open world PVP without the karma loss issues, without the penalty, and you can have guild decks. You can you can have all that stuff. You can have guild wars without decks. You don't need a good deck because it's Arsha. The only reason decks were there from the beginning was, again, to circumvent karma loss, unless people actually had 
beef between two guilds which is still you can do in the game today if you have beef between two guilds so that's obviously not the issue it's really to circumvent the karma loss but if you get more arsha servers you don't have to circumvent the karma loss now here's the other thing why would people want to go on arsha when they can grind peacefully on other servers and obviously it's going to be more efficient to peacefully grind on other servers well for one again they get the infinite karma loss uh, they, they, they get the karma loss uh uh they don't have to worry about karma loss i should say but number two arsha needs to be updated now 50 percent drop rate is pretty good right no one's going to complain about that but i think that what we in order for BD, bdo to go to the next level in order for bdo to go to the next stage of its game in order to incentivize open world pvp and open world conflicts arsha needs to be buffed not by item drop rate item drop amount yes amount and by amount i mean you get more trash loot per mob kill on arsha than on any other server this will immediately make arsha always the objectively best place to grind if you can safely grind there what this will do is make people start to group up make people start to protect each other make people start to work together in these solo grind spots like they did back in the day in order to slot down uh, arsha's arsha server it would literally be just like back then and and it would it would incentivize people to get stronger because they want to be able to grind fast uh get more gear through faster progression on Arsha and it would incentivize people to get gear in that way so the people who want to do open world content will have a better reason to do it and it will also and this will help everywhere it wouldn't just help at the best grind spots it would help at the middle grind spots it would help at the the weaker grind spots everywhere all the players who want to progress would be able to do so and they'd have to engage in pvp in order to progress faster and then you still have the other servers that are perfectly fine for that don't that do have karma penalties where the people who don't necessarily want to pvp can still progress at the same rate they are right now they just won't progress as quickly as the players who are on arsha which they already are totally acceptable of because arsha already has faster progression via the 50 percent drop rate amount uh but drop rate is not as enticing as drop amount there has to be a reason for people to want to risk their loss in time in pvp in order to progress and that and, and and people and it also has to be a reason for people to want to work together to secure an arsha server or an area in arsha so that they can benefit from those uh bonuses that arsha would provide so that's a way so those are three ways to fix pvp when you do those three things now you give people a why now you give people a reason to want to gear up you give people a reason to want to engage in the game you give all the pvp players of all angles something to do you give the you give the uh no war something to do the siege or something to do and the open world pvp is something to do you get them something to engage in okay so those are all ways that i would recommend to immediately and easily easily these are easy things that can be implemented right away and you still can keep arena of solaire for the people who just want equalized pvp they don't want anything else equalized pvp you can introduce the 1v1 arena of solaire whatever you want to do they can have that guild league still there for people who just want to do guild leagues and nothing else and then this also and and then decrease the number of channels we don't need this many channels it just doesn't need to be this many channels we probably can de decrease it by half maybe even more and there's no there, there's no way you need this many channels uh, especially on na i don't know about eu but on na we definitely don't need this many channels um and then you have a much more healthy gaming environment for the pvpers and the pveers can pve and peace on their pve server you can also make marnie just unlimited just let them go crazy in marnie just let them sit in marnie for the rest of their lives never interact with another player it's fine perfect Now, the next thing is the progression. Now, unfortunately, the progression in Black Desert is very, very difficult right now. Even if you're making tons and tons of money, it's very, very difficult. So how can they help alleviate this problem? Well, they can do it by introducing these better grind zones like they have with Dekia Crescents. 
again Decky of Crescens is one of the best grindstones they've ever made in the history of BDO I don't care what anyone says they need to make more spots like this scarcity with high drop rates and high money per hour high trash loot values that uh, is preferably not Dekia, but I don't mind if it's Dekia. The reason why I say preferably not Dekia is because it's annoying to engage in open world PvP when you have a Dekia Lantern. Also, another thing that could be helped, you know, asterisk is uh, I, will, I would like for them to some kind of way solve this issue which i don't know how they do it but the issue where while you're in pve gear you don't you know you're not you can't really pvp against a fully pvp geared person because the way the game is set up it's really stupid you have to have a certain amount of ap to be able to hit people with at levels of dr and if you if you have mostly monster ap it's not helping you at all against someone who's in their full pvp set i wish i think there needs to be a way to fix that I don't know how they fix that, but that has to be fixed because in open world PvP, it's really a pain in the ass to just die, then go switch your gear, then come back and the person just left. It's the most annoying thing in the world. I don't know how they fix that. That's just an asterisk, something that hopefully can be fixed one day. I don't know. I really don't know how. Um, but back to my point, if they continue to create places that drop a lot of money, it's going to eventually help with the progression because if people are making enough money to where they feel like okay one hour of grinding leads to a good amount of progression that's going to make people want to grind more if they don't feel that way then they don't want to grind because it's like well i could grind for a thousand hours and never get anywhere i could grind for a thousand hours and not have any progression whatsoever okay so introducing better grind spots more grind spots that get more money especially if it's a group grind spot i personally think that group grind spots should be way more viable than solo grind spots because it's a lot harder to start a group get people to stay together in a group and and if if you're on arsha defend a spot that's in a group so i think that they should introduce more group grind spots like crescents Dekia Crescents. For example, Dekia Saucens would really be that would be really lit. Dekia Saucens make it a five man make it a five man thing. Uh where all five people have to turn their lanterns on at the same time and you're going a rotation around the main the main saucens route. And there's only one rotation per channel. That would be amazing. That would that would be that would be an example of the scarcity that I'm talking about. Because now People have to group up, people have to fight each other in order to get these spots. You're going to get the, that organic PVP back, but it has to be scarcity. There has to be scarcity. And you can create scarcity without stepping on the toes of the PVEers, without pub stomping people, by just making more Arsha servers and giving Arsha more of an incentive than what it currently has. And that's how you do it. Um, that's pretty much it. Like I've been saying this for years, but it's like people just don't understand when they say more Archer servers. Like, why do you want to split up the PvP community? That's not the, that's not what I'm. That's not what we're trying to do here. What we're trying, what Arsha is, and what Arsha is trying to accomplish is that same feeling of providing scarcity for resources, but also no karma system. It's the best thing ever. That's that's how BDO should have always been. If BDO had Arsha servers back in the day, oh my God, it would have been the best thing ever. If half the people that were crying, complaining, wouldn't have been complaining because they would have been able to PVP to their heart's content without worrying about karma penalties. Karma, fu karma fucking sucks. Everyone knows this. This is why we're all trying to circumvent this some type of way. This is why 1% of the PVP player base goes red permanently is because it fucking sucks, right? No one wants to throw their progression away, especially nowadays just the fucking pvp that's dumb as fuck we, we we want to progress so that we can pvp not reverse okay so once black desert and the community of black desert both understand this this concept the pvp community of black desert understands this concept that you have to you have to be willing to pvp to progress you have to be willing to pve to pvp these this balance this ebb and flow that black desert used to have at one point is totally gone and it has to come back for the game to survive all right i'm done ranting uh i said my piece you guys disagree that's cool don't care uh 
then just let the game die then. All right, peace.